So guys, there's another chart that will basically help you in diagnosing heart failure. All right. So this chart is the chart that we call the Framingham criteria for diagnosis of what? heart failure. All right. So quickly move through this chart um, so that you guys should like have an idea what this chart is. Okay. The Framingham criteria for what? Diagnosing heart failure. So you see this, uh, we have the note here. I'll be talking about the various word criteria, and these various criteria are actually subdivided into the major criteria and the minor criteria and all that. So, so that these Framingham criteria are actually a set of diagnostic criteria for heart failures. So, if you see that a patient has this, then it will help you further confirm that okay, this patient has heart failure. Okay. And these criteria were developed from the Framingham Heart Study. Uh, they are used to diagnose heart failure in clinical practice and research. Okay, so the criteria are like what is what listed below. We have the major criteria. We have the minor criteria. Okay, so for the major criteria, we say that um, there could be what paroxysmal nocturnal deep snare. That's basically um, you're having problems in breathing, okay? There could be neck vein distension, all right? There'll be rates of crackles in the lungs, okay? There could be some radiographic or cardiomegaly. That's an enlarged heart on x-ray, okay? So if you do an x-ray, you see an enlarged heart. These are the major criteria, all right? So in the major criteria, the patient is supposed to have two or more. So the patient will have at least two of this or more of this, okay, for diagnosis. Then you'll be having acute, there's acute pulmonary edema, there's S3 gallop, that's a third heart sound, there's an increased venous pressure, all right? There's uh, the circulation time is less than 25 seconds and all that, all right? The patient will have that. So we are done with the major criteria. Moving to the minor criteria now. For the minor one, it could be bilateral ankle edema, right? There could be nocturnal cough. There could be deep snare on ordinary exertion. There could be hepatomegaly, that's an enlarged liver, right? There could be pleural effusion. There could be decreased vital capacity. Now for the minor criteria, the patient is expected to have one or more of this okay for you to confirm that okay the patient has this um, condition all right so diagnosis now a definite heart failure is when the person is having two or more of the major criteria and one major criteria okay two or more major criteria or one major criteria plus two minor criteria probable heart failure that's like suspecting it could be that the person has just one major criteria, then one minor criteria. That means like the person is going towards what? Heart failure. Then, possible heart failure is when the person is having like one major, one major criteria, then two minor criteria, okay? That's a possible one. Right. So these criteria are basically things that would you confirming whether a patient has heart failure or not subdivided into the word major uh, major criteria or minor criteria okay so that's it bye for now